I'm sure you've wanted to make videos in the past. I mean, who hasn't thought about it at least once? But then you start to look into the tools that your favorite YouTubers use and you start to realize that it seems a little bit impractical. Well, fear not, because I'm going to give you a full list of tools that you would need to create not only a good looking video, but a great one. And for the very affordable cost of absolutely nothing. Hello, my name is Eli and this is Elisha Tech. Let's get into this, starting with the tool that many of you probably already use, but have never really considered to be an important part of video production. Google Docs is a great tool for collaborating with a single document. If you are working on a team, or even if you are having friends or fans watch you writing the script or even helping you edit, you can easily save time that you would have normally spent copying and pasting it into different Discord chat rooms. And with the inclusion of commenting on separate lines, it can really help not only for speeding up your workflow, but will also help with improving your writing in general with the aid of some writing and client friends. There are also alternatives to Google Docs for collaborative writing such as OneNote, but you can usually rely on almost everyone you know to have a Google account. And since it's tied to your Google, that means it will get saved to the next best tool for video production, which is Google Drive, which you can use to view and share your scripts along with every other project file that you could need to move from device to device. It works much in the same way as Dropbox, but since it's linked to your Google account, you can use it to share or receive files from many more people than those who would already have a Dropbox account. If you are getting graphics done by a friend, or if you are using a phone to record video, you can easily upload directly to your drive, which you can then use to grab any resource that you have acquired on any device connected to a Google Drive. If you are working with multiple devices to produce your video, I would highly recommend you integrate this into your workflow. The next tool on this list is going to be Audacity, which is free and open source. Audacity has been one of the best free audio manipulation tools for vocals for many years, and for good reason. It has all the effects and tweaks that would normally it would need. For simple voiceover, even then, there is still more available. I mainly use it for recording my vocals and to get rid of the background noise. Please note, whenever you are making any edits in Audacity that they are destructive edits, meaning that you are permanently changing the audio recording when you do anything such as filters. So make sure to back up often. Now on to the topic that most of you might be interested in, which is going to be screen capture and video recording. OBS Studio is a very popular, free, and open source streaming and recording software that has become a favorite of many YouTubers due to its great amount of customization. It isn't hard to make the footage that comes out of it exactly how you want. And while it's mostly used for streaming to sites like Twitch and YouTube Gaming, it is also a very competent recording solution, using your CPU to do the brunt of the work, while your GPU works on playing the game, meaning frame rate overhead is minimal in most cases, if you have a good processor. This is ideal for those who have great CPUs, or those who are using AMD-based GPUs. However, if you have an NVIDIA-based GPU and a weak CPU, fret not, there is still a solution. Shadowplay is NVIDIA's solution to game and desktop recording and streaming. While it has far fewer customization options when compared to OBS, it makes up for it in dedicated hardware found in most modern GeForce GTX graphic card, meaning that the frame rate overhead in most games is as close to nothing as possible, meaning that you don't have the CPU horsepower to keep OBS running at full speed, you are likely to be saved by installing GeForce Experience and running Shadowplay. This is also, of course, completely free to use. Once you have your footage worked out and your voiceover is recorded, then you might also want a few fancy graphics to put over the video. GIMP is a free and open source photo manipulation tool that, for graphics and videos, is about as fully featured as you would ever need. I personally have used it for many years working on various projects, from color grading photography, to making an entire HD Minecraft texture pack. Uh, it's about as diverse of a tool set that you would ever need, and it's all free, of course. Inkscape is also a free and open source tool that can be used for graphics, specifically vector-based graphics that can be used if you are going for something that can be scaled up forever without losing any detail or starting to become pixelated. This could be very useful for a channel logo or motion graphics, as even if you are outputting your videos in 4K, they will always remain smooth. If you are the type of person who wants to run each of your graphics through this program, you will get some very slick results. Finally, the most important part of any video production project is the video editor. While there have been in the past a couple free to use video editors, nothing has ever come close to the ability of paid programs such as 
Adobe Premiere, or Sony Vegas until just recently. HitFilm Express is a free-to-use program that is fully featured. You can use it from everything from motion graphics to color grading, simple edits, and unless you need to use complex features native to Adobe Premiere or other premium packages such as content-aware tracking or CGI assets, then HitFilm will have your back in almost everything you could ever need. On top of that, there are, is a great community for you to learn from who are constantly putting out tutorials and support for those who are just getting started. I definitely recommend you look into this if you're serious about video production that involves anything more than a few simple cuts. And with that, I hope to have shown you a few tools that can be very useful to any aspiring YouTuber. It's not difficult to start, and now in this current age it isn't even very expensive as you've seen. The whole process can be done completely with free-to-use software, and if you're viewing this video on the computer, you probably have the hardware you need as well. I hope that this video could help somebody who is aspiring to create their own content realize that. If you enjoyed this video, or if you enjoy my content, please consider leaving a like or even a subscription to help encourage me to create more videos. Thank you, and have a great day. Stay creative! Subscribe to Dan. Subscribe to Dark. No, fuck Ride. you, you're not my dad.